Is this the best avocado toast in Las Vegas? I don't know, but I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. This is from the Cafe de Sud, which is in Southern Highlands. My wife and my cousin have been eating it. And that's the only reason I'm making this video because they was eating it and they both said this is the best thing. They didn't even say avocado sauce. This is the best thing in Vegas, period. I'm literally eating the one that my wife already ate 80% of. She customized it. This is not a regular avocado toast. You got to tell me your order, babe. It's an avocado toast, no onions, add bacon. What sauce is this? Or it's like a... Like a pesto. Is it? Mm -hmm. hey, and feta. <laughs> <laughs> I literally pulled over to the side of the road just to try this. I've had avocado toast before, but I've never had it like this or her like specific order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it. Damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he gonna go and go back again for another bite. I ain't gonna lie. I might have to go back and get one. Man, what? That is fire. It's because it's some kind of cheese on there. I think it's better cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cheesy, it's seasoned. Mm -hmm. That bacon crispy. The egg. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even get another egg. I see egg yolk on hers. I didn't get no egg. Oh, I ate all mine. <laughs> What'd you rate it? The best thing to eat in Vegas. The best thing, not just avocado sauce, the best thing to eat in Vegas. I can't eat that every day, every morning. What'd you rate it? A 10. What'd you rate it, Frank? <clears throat> a 10. I'm high. I'm not that high, but I am high. <laughs> I give it a 9.6. Mm. Okay, no. so what can 6. you do to fix it? I want a little bit more spice, a little more cheese. I love the variety the cheese adds. I meant complexity, not variety. My bad. <laughs> I like the complexity that the cheese adds. But I guess, well, let me take that back because the piece I got only had a little bit of cheese because she ate all of it. <laughs> I'm about to say, because it made cheese. And I didn't, I didn't get the egg yeah. either. Yeah. I didn't get the egg either. So yeah. I got to give it a full retry. I got to yeah, actually try it with the egg mm -hmm. and the, the full yeah. cheese. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Yeah, I think it's gonna go up because I didn't try it with the egg or with the cheese mm -hmm. and I didn't get it fresh. I got literally like the scraps. <laughs> I got like the carcasses. Ronnie, look at my box. <laughs> oh, is Bobby Flay's restaurant worth coming to the strip for? I don't know, but I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 to 10. We spent $69.29. His restaurant is inside of the food court at Caesars Palace. I'm genuinely curious because one of these burgers got potato chips on top of them and it was $15. I'm gonna show you everything we got and we're gonna try it and ready one through 10. Bacon cheese fries, classic beef palace, this is my cousin's. Chicken sandwich, this is my wife's. And for me, a beef bacon crunch burger. And last but not least, a regular thing of fries. Is that worth $67? We on a trip. This is the crunch burger. This is the burger I said they got potato chips on it. I don't know why it intrigued me, but it did. Some bacon. Ooh, that bacon crispy. I mean, I like potato chips on sandwiches, so why not on a burger? That's not a Lay's potato chip. That might be a homemade potato chip. It's good though. Or it also might be a Lay's. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted it well done or medium. I said medium. It's okay, it's a good burger. But I genuinely don't get the addition of the potato chips. It don't take away or add nothing for me. I'm personally at like a six out of 10. I'm gonna try these bacon cheese fries. I said I was gonna be eating clean, but. That's a homemade fry. Oh, I like that cheese sauce too. It's like that amusement park cheese sauce. Or like, what if they serve cheese sauce? Like at a football game? Mm. Or with nachos? Mm. Mm. Yeah. The circus. Mm. The circus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fry. Like I said, it's homemade. I like the cheese sauce. The bacon is crispy. The bacon isn't the highest quality, but for food court ownership food, it's pretty good. I guess it's a 7.5 out of 10. Do you like the chicken sandwich? No, it's a one out of 10. Mm. Mm. What's wrong with it? There's no, you want to taste it? Uh, yeah, I'll taste it. There's no flavor. For sure. This is the chicken sandwich. I concur. It's like a 1.5 out of 10 for me. It has a little bit of flavor because of the pickles. I really like the bread. This is the high quality bread, but as far as the chicken itself is 
a little flavorless to me as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it's the bread and the bread and don't really have much seasonings in it. But that lettuce is really smelly. Like that's the first thing I smell when you, I opened the bag was straight lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce pray. <laughs> 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 You're not recording, are you? Yeah, you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's real basic. Understood. What did you give it? Oh, two. So, in conclusion, is Bobby Flay's burgers worth going on a trip for? In my opinion, no. But if you want to go on a trip and you're already here, I encourage you, if you want to go try it, to go try it. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Me and my wife were driving around Vegas looking for places to eat. And we found the steak restaurant that's completely empty. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. We spent $72.58. The name of this place is Bacanya Steak Restaurant. It's 429 on a Friday afternoon and this place is completely empty. I've driven past this place a thousand times and never thought to stop. I looked it up and it looked delicious. Why is this restaurant empty on a Friday afternoon? Is it the custom service? Is it the food? Is it the lack of marketing? We about to find out. And based on the customer service alone, I'm very happy we stopped. Fire. The lady who took my order explained everything to us. I even asked her what a pecanya steak is. She explained to me, it's the cut of meat. I thought it was like a seasoning or a marinade. Actually, it's a cut, like how ribeye is a cut or round steak, flat steak, skirt steak, all of that. I've heard of pecanya before, but I've never knew that. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we gonna try it and rate it one through 10. Chicken tacos, a steak taco with everything on it. The chicken tacos came with red cabbage, but I took it off because my wife don't eat it and she gonna eat them tacos. A side of mac and cheese, a chicken kids meal with chicken and mac and cheese, a steak taco plate with fries. This came with the side of mac and cheese. And last but not least, a pecanya steak plate with sausage, mushrooms, and grilled vegetables. You get all of this food for $70, in my opinion, I'm not mad at that. And all of this is made to order because it's hot, like piping hot, the chicken tacos. I will say off the rip, it is a little greasy. You can see it's super shiny at the bottom. Yeah, it's a little too greasy for me. The flavor is really good. The chicken is, what sauce is that? It's like a chimichurri sauce. That chimichurri sauce is fire. I can tell they probably do like the tortillas and a shallow pan with some oil, but it was a lot of oil. It's really greasy, but it's the good. taco stuff is good. I give it a, even with the grease, I still give mm -hmm. it a seven. We pretty like mine on that. I also give it a seven out of 10. But without the excess grease, that is like an eight territory. This is the steak taco with everything on it. Chimichurri, cheese, chipotle mayo, and then a cabbage slaw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's flavor all through this taco. It's a good that's ass taco. Mm-hmm. It's still a little greasy, but it's a lot less greasy than a chicken. And if that's any indication what the chicken would taste like with a little less grease, I'm for sure in the eight territory. 8.6 out of 10. It's a french fry. This color is amazing. Oh, oh! I love a crispy fry. Crispy is seasoned. That fry is hot for me. Eight point seven out of ten. Agree. <laughs> Man, now why is this place empty on a Friday afternoon? So far, I have no idea. Usually, I would cut it, but I'm gonna just bite straight into it. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. I knew it the second it touched my tongue. That thing's seasoned. Garlicky, salty, damn. It's a really good amount of fat. I said juicy. Let me try with that chimichurri sauce. Thank you. Mm. That's real different. I've never had a sausage taste like this before. I'm not a huge fan of the sausage, but it's not, it's different. It's very unique. I don't know what kind of meat this is, but it's salty, it's spicy, the flavor is good. And the texture of this is pretty soft. I think that's why I'm not a huge fan because I'm a texture person. But I can see a lot of people liking this because the flavor is really good. For me, this is a 5.2 out of 10. And it's not terrible. It's like average for me, but this steak is very above average. This steak is an 8.7 out of 10. The steak on the taco was 8.7. Mm -hmm. I'm in a range with them and everything. This is probably a spot a lot of people know about. They just don't say nothing. They try and keep it under wraps. Not I. Last but not least, the mac and cheese. I'm not a huge fan presentation-wise. Presentation-wise, this do not look like the kind of mac and cheese I would personally like. It looks like it's just cooked noodles and they just threw the cheese sauce directly on top. And the cheese sauce does look a little loose. It's different. It's not bad, to me at least. It's different though. It literally tastes like they took a high quality noodle and they just poured cheese sauce on top of it. Like they didn't bake it into it. They didn't like incorporate it. It's literally just noodles with cheese sauce. So it's not terrible, 
Pretty average for me, I'm at a five out of 10. But overall, I think I know exactly why this place is empty. Marketing, because the food is really good in my opinion. The customer service is amazing in my opinion. I think people just don't know about it. And I pray and I hope after this, that changes. God bless you, have an amazing day, y'all be safe. Real quick before I leave, Ronnie just went in there and got a red velvet cake. She said this is top five, the best she's ever had. At first she said it was the best, then she said top five. It looked good. A lot of people go really dry with red velvet. Mm. And that to me is perfect. Mm. Damn. It's not too sweet. Yeah, get that away from me. <laughs> I'll mess around and eat that whole thing. Do you taste the coconut or is it just me? Mm -mm. I taste the coconut. Oh. I taste a nine. <laughs> That's not a taste. A nine? <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, I did a review on a place called Milpa. Not only do I feel like I rushed it, the audio wasn't good, and I hold myself to a very high standard. And I don't want to give y'all nothing less than what I feel is my all. So I went back today, and I got four of their most popular items. I got it, let's try it, and rate it 1 through 10. I spent $36.84, but I tipped $200 because the customer service is amazing. Without further ado, we're going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and rate it 1 through 10. Chile killers, please excuse me if I said that wrong. I tried. A barbacoa taco with everything on it, a chicken taco with everything on it, and a queso birria taco. I also got two drinks, horchata and a guava agua fresca. This was recommended to me by the lady at the front. It was explained to me as a breakfast dish. It's chips topped with a sunny side up egg, cheese, lettuce, onions, green salsa, Ooh, and it's loaded. Why did I got that much flavor? Now the chips have gotten a little soggy because it's takeout, but to be honest with you, that flavor makes up for it. I ain't mad at it. Hey, that's why I love Spanish food. I've had so many dishes that just packed with flavor from the beginning to the end. It's like, Again, the chips soggy, but if these chips is crispy, this would be in a high nines. But seeing as I got it for takeout and I can't blame them for that, I'm still putting this at a nine out of 10. Mm. Breakfast though, I feel like I eat this and go straight to sleep immediately. This is the barbacoa taco. I had this yesterday and I gave it a 9.4 out of 10. And just by the looks of it, I don't think it's gonna be no different. Yes, I do. Unless somebody can point me in a different direction, I will agree. That's probably the best handmade tortilla I've had in Vegas for sure. I also stand on my rating. That's a 9.4 out of 10 for me. This is the chicken taco. It's falling apart in my hand because it's loaded. That chicken got a great char to it. It is a little spicy, but I like it. Eight out of 10. Last not least, the queso birria. Ooh, I need all of that. Is this the red salsa? Ooh, that's spicy. That's real spicy. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with that. Whoa, it's on my hand too. I'm not huge on spice and that red salsa is spicy. I mean, I'm only 26, but I'm too old to eat stuff that spicy. My body won't forgive me for a whole week. Now I got the hiccups. This is what I thought the red salsa was, but this is the consomme. It's not much more that I like more than a queso birria taco. I had some last night and it did not taste the season. This is delicious. That is seasoned, that is crispy, that is cheesy. That's an 8.7 out of 10 for me. I'm gonna wash it down with this guava. I like that. Why am I licking my fingers? <laughs> I'm wilding. This is extremely refreshing. It's fruity, it's sour. It's not really that sweet. It's kind of like a guava lemonade almost. 8.9 out of 10 for me. The horchata. I feel like this is the perfect season for this. Fall time is my favorite time. Ooh, that got a bunch of flavor. That's super cinnamon. <laughs> extremely cinnamon forward. Even the texture, it's like, that's different. I don't even know how to explain it. The texture is thick. This is probably one of my favorite horchatas, and I'm not a huge horchata fan. I get this at eight out of 10. Milpa is one of my new favorite taco spots. Again, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please forgive me. God bless you, have an amazing day, y'all be safe. See, I gotta stay away from places like this. I just spent $312.90 on some donuts. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. This place is named Glazed Donuts. They've been reaching out to me since July 20th, and they reach out about twice a week. And one of the most recent messages they sent, they said business has gotten really slow to the point where they work in 17 hour days and only seeing 30 people. That's less than two people an hour. 
But over and over, they've insisted that it's not the customer service and it's not the donuts, but it's the lack of marketing. And so far, I can agree about the customer service. I thought they closed at four o'clock and I got there at 2.40. Come to find out, they closed at three o'clock today. I walked in and it was completely empty and there was only one person working. His name was Jaden. Jada had no idea who I was. He greeted me and he told me it was about to close. He also told me since they were about to close, all the donuts in the donut case been sitting there all day, but he can make anything fresh that I would like. He said anything in the case, I can make it fresh right now. And also was on a board right behind him that said, if you don't see your favorite donut, please tell us and we'll make it. I think that's dope. Not only did he go out his way to make me fresh donuts when they was about to close, he also tried to give me a discount on them because he said I came in before they closed and I didn't get the full experience of what glazed donuts has to offer. So instead of taking a discount, I paid my donuts in full and I tipped him $300. I truly believe Jaden deserved it. He thought it was a joke. He was like, I don't have to send him this money back, right? <laughs> the fact that you're treating you like that off pure customer service is dope. That's you. That's you. Bro? Bro? Absolutely. I don't even send nothing back, bro. No, don't send me nothing. <laughs> I yeah, appreciate you, bro. Love, Jada. No, yeah, you, you're like a genuine person, you know? Because I'm online people don't. Yeah. I haven't even tried the donuts, but I'm already extremely thankful that I came here. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and rate it 1 through 10. A croissant, bacon, egg, and cheese, and four donuts. This is the bacon, egg, and cheese. I love a good breakfast sandwich, and I love a croissant. I feel like this needs a spicy aioli or like a spicy mayo, and this will be fire. Mm -hmm. This is good, but it's extremely simple. I personally would like a spicy sauce on this. As it is, it's just egg, bacon, on a croissant. So a 7.2 out of 10. The original glazed donut. The second I bit into that, this thing is pillow. Again, for this to be the end of the day, this fresh out the grease. The softness of this is the highest attribute for me. It is thick and pillowy, but it's not super sweet. That with a coffee or a pumpkin spice latte, 7.9 out of 10 for me. Okay, Clay, donut. I'll see what y'all got going on. Pink sprinkle. This one is a little sweeter, as expected, because it's icing and sprinkles on it. Honestly, it's still not overkill for me, and I don't really like super sweet things, and this isn't overly sweet, especially to be a pink sprinkle donut. Again, I'm in that same range. 7.5 out of 10 for me. This is the one I was most excited about. This is a strawberry white chocolate. Uh-oh. That's strawberry. It's a strawberry syrup, but it's very refreshing. It's really like the same donut with different toppings on it, but that's my favorite topping so far. By far. That's an 8 out of 10 for me. Last but not least, this is the French Toast Blueberry. That strawberry syrup thing got on everything. My fingers, the donut. He said this is one of the most popular flavors. If you a fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I can see you really liking that because it's loaded with the cereal and it really tastes like blueberry. Like it's a very strong blueberry flavor. If you a cereal fan, I can easily see that being like a nine to a 9.5. For me personally, it's about a six only because it's very sweet and I'm not a huge cereal person. Overall, I'm very glad to say I would 100% agree. It's not the customer service, it's not the donuts. In my opinion, it's marketing. And I pray and I hope after this, that changes. God bless you, have an amazing day, y'all be safe. I feel like they literally just got to meet their target audience and they're going to be packed out the door. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another.